This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Carbonite. It's time once again to check port 110. I gotta come up with something better to say. We've got a suggestion, feedback at hack5.org, which is just the email address that Addison wrote to. Addison says, hey guys, I've seen Darren's antenna in a few episodes now and saw that he had his mounted on a small tripod. I've been looking around at small tripods and was wondering what kind of tripod Darren uses for his as the biggest complaint about the ones I have come across are not very sturdy. Which one is that? Yeah, where did you get it? It looks like just a regular camera tripod. Yeah, this is, is that actually, what is? That's, that's what it is. It even has a hot shoe. This guy is, I believe, a Vanguard. A he goes okay. for like 15 bucks on Amazon. And oh, okay. uh, it's got a level and whatever. You know, the, the nice yeah. thing about it, though, is the way that the, the legs extend and uh, oh, has a suction cup nice. so it'll actually stay on the table. I've seen plenty of tabletop tripods that just fall over. Mm -hmm. Me too. And they're crap. Yep. And, and like the, even the Gorillapod ones, I've seen these like, little oh, yeah. mini Gorillapod knockoff they guys. They kind of just and go and <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It, it's the same thing. Well, while we're on the subject, where did you get the scope? Because a lot of people have been asking about oh, really? that too. Yeah. You know, I, to be honest, that Don't know. it's not necessary for hacking. It well, looks duh. cool. It's fun. It is a gimmick. I'm people just having fun with it. People want it because it's cool. You're right. It is. <laughs> it is. We, we should totally have like a camo version of the pineapple. Well, but, it looks um, to me like a bar. It's a, it's a sniper scope from an airsoft gun, which those are a, fun if you've, it's ever, a bar if you've ever had fun for, with your, uh, your mates. It's a Barska 4x15. Barska 4x15. Yeah. It's, it, Made in China. It'll do, it'll do crap. To, as far as like <laughs> scoping is concerned with a, um, what are they called? Airsoft. Yeah. Yeah. You can get ridiculous with these uh, sniper scopes as I was finding out. Like they got, they got like freaking, freaking really expensive sniper scopes with laser beams and things that, anyway, yes. Craziness. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you really want to get tricked out. Ugh, oh God. You could just goes. mount it to this guy <laughs> and then, and then you could. Don't you know, point you that would at my not head. attract any attention no, from the authorities of course not. whatsoever when it comes to uh, sniffing your packets. Yeah, you know, I'd say steer away from the sniper just because. Just because. Just don't. We were all there. Anyway, second email? Yes. All right, this one comes from Adam. He says, let me first say that I watch and love both Hack5 and Hacktip and follow them daily. Thank you. Aww. I was wondering if there was a program or an existing command for a command prompt or a command prompt that accomplishes the same thing as the screen command for bash. Let's see. What say you? He wants a screen for Windows. Let's type in screen for Windows into Google and oh yeah, no, I don't need window screens. <laughs> Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware. No. Dang it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I the best I could really figure is, and this is how I would personally do it. We've talked about this, I think it was like season two or something. Yeah. My favorite, oh what, what is it called? It's um SSHD for Windows, basically. SSHD, and okay. You can basically run an SSH server mm -hmm. on your Windows desktop. You could run multiple instances of them, and they all go to the Windows command prompt rather than, well, bash, obviously, because you don't have bash. Oh. The other alternative is you install this thing called Sigwin, S Y G W I N. It's basically like bringing all the fun bash tools over to I think Windows. I've heard of Sigwin. Sigwin is great. You should do a segment yeah. on it. I think you'd like it. All right, cool. But, um, I think I'll do that. Yeah, now that you're getting all your bash on and stuff, next what? thing you know, yeah. <laughs> I think it was the earrings, it was the shebang earrings that did it, right? Yeah, yeah. you know, it might have been. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, if you do the multiple SSH thing, then at least like from another computer, you would always have those instances and they should okay. be the same. And Sigwin, you'd have screen. I don't know of a screen alternative if you guys do, especially now with the PowerShell. You know, I haven't really played with it that much because once I got over to the Linux side, I just get frustrated whenever I'm in Windows. I'm like, take, type an LS, and I'm How like, I'm not there LS. yet. <laughs> anyway, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so I just pose that out back to you guys. Those are my suggestions, but I know that somebody out there knows of some freaking ridiculously cool script for Windows that'll do some yeah, stuff. Yeah, so you guys could always just leave a comment below on whatever you guys think is the correct answer, or just email us at feedback at hack5.org. Hooray! And when we get back, we're going to find out what kind of uh, technolist photos were emailed to feedback at hack5.org, but first Yay! we're going to take a quick break. Computer disasters eventually happen to everyone, but if you get Carbonite Online Backup before your disaster, then no need to worry because all of your files will be backed up automatically and safely off-site. And getting them back is really easy to do on any computer or your smartphone or the Carbonite iPad app. You can access them anytime, anywhere. And with Carbonite Unlimited Backup for PC or Mac, it's just $59 a year. 
But if you use the offer code HAK5 when you start your free 15-day trial, you get two months free if you decide to buy. All the details are over at Carbonite.com and remember to use the offer code HAK5 to get yourself two months free with purchase. It's time for my favorite part of the Hack 5 show, the Technolist photo of the week. What do we get this week? This week, Ben sent it in. It's this really funny picture of the shop that's nearby him, wherever he lives, with a kind of a leet speak word on the front. It spells H-A-K-S, but if you spell it in leet speak, it would be Hack 5. Kind of cool, uh, yeah. All right, all right. And he said if you want to find it on Google Maps, it just happens to be 48 Hoth Lane, Hoth Lane? Hoth. Gillingham Medway, United Kingdom. And if you guys have photos, you can always send those over to feedback at hack5.org. If you're on an iPhone, you can find out all about Hake. You can't find out about Hack5, Hake. you only get Hake. You oh, notice that yes. you, you type in Hack5. Yeah, that still iOS. happens to me. Come on. My phone hasn't learned. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. come on, Apple. Me. Add Hack5 to the dictionary. All right, no, I'm joking. All right, well, you time. <laughs> Trivia time. Yeah. What do we have? You ready for this? Yes. All right, so this is one of my favorite books. What novel was based off of a Philip K. Dick novel that took place in the year... 2019, and the answer was Blade Runner, which is based off of uh, Dick's "Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep?" Do they? Yes. Uh, well, let me ask. Okay. Let me ask my phone. It's an Android. Lols. Okay, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't have Siri, so I can't. Like, do, do you dream of electric sheep? No. Set your that would name. Be awesome. Set your name to Dave, that. and then ask Hal to open the pod bay doors. I do that, Dave. All right. So this week's question is: What were the safe words uttered by Simon to calm the river? Oh, okay. I was like, where are we going with this? Ah, yes. Ah, ah you yes. You can answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win some awesome swag. You don't even have to do it barefoot. Swag, swag, swag. Hack5.org slash follow is the place where you can find all the places that we hang out on the social networks and all that good stuff. And you can always get your Hack5 goodies over at hackshop.com, H-A-K shop.com, like don't, the Yagi. Don't forget about Hack Tips every Friday. They are condensed techno lust. It's like getting a thing a tang and then licking your finger and being like, mm. it's just condensed. <laughs> and until next week, are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm Darren. I'm Shannon. Trust your techno lust. Woo! Oh, wait, did you just do the Spock thing? Yeah, you're right. T-Mobile has Durka Durkas as well. It's like turkey carving, except except not as delicious. One, yep. two. There's this one place when I'm driving where I always get Durka Durkas every day when I'm going to work. Well, that's because that's the place where the government put the mind control ray beams and you're just driving through it. I mean... No wonder I'm... Hamster chicken. Hamster chickens.